Okay, here's the last um, tutorial for the shaders. If you want to download this pack, again, it's in the top line of the description. You can download it, it's free, but we are going to tackle this one, which is the most complicated one. But if you understand the process that goes into making this, you'll be able to make some really, really interesting shaders um, just using your creativity. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so plop in uh, whatever um, model you want, and let's go to the shader editor. So I'm going to go into look dev and we'll turn off bloom. So first thing we're going to add is a new principled shader. Bring it up. We're going to duplicate it and let's add our mix shader. And we'll bring this shader all the way up. We're not going to make any of these metallic, but I'm going to bring up the roughness of this one. And I'm going to bring down the roughness of this one. We're going to make this one like a dark gray. And we're going to make this one uh, sort of a darker-ish dirt kind of orange. All right. So here's what we're going to do for the, for the uh, noise. We're going to add a color ramp. And we are going to add three noise textures. So we're going to bring this one. We're going to bring up the detail. And then let's just duplicate all of these. One to and then just connect them all the vector and do the noise and of course add the color to the factor of our mix shader all right so what adding these three noise textures in it just gives you a more intense noise because if you just take it off you have just this sort of regular looking noise um, we'll just show it how it's going going on you just have this regular looking noise, but then you add two more to it, and it just goes crazy. So, and it, it just gives you this really cool pattern um, that looks sort of planet, planet looking. And that's what we're going for for this. So that's what we're gonna use. Um, I'm gonna go to the color ramp and just sort of expound on what's going on. And yeah, so we have this. We need to add one more mix shader, so I'm going to bring this one out to give room for what we're going to do next. And I'm going to add a mix shader over here on the red one. That's the one we need to use. So in my X, bring the mix shader and put it right here for the red one. And then we're going to add an emission shader. My computer's lagging. All right, we're gonna give it a strength of 50 and we're gonna give it a red color. Okay, so we're gonna plug the emission right here into the shader. We have to make a new color ramp because we have to make some different edits to here, but we're gonna take this noise texture and plug it into the color ramp here and then plug in the color here. Okay, now we need to play with our color ramp till we start seeing something we like. All right, this looks, all right, so this looks about right. And all we have to do next is add some bump. So let's put this one right under here. We're gonna add a bump node, B-U-M, put it right here and take our noise and plug it all the way into the height right here of our bump node and then plug in the normal to the normal of both of these principal shaders. All right, it took a second to load, but um, we have it here. I'm gonna bring down the strength. Um, if you give it like a small strength here, then it gi gives it that more planetary look, um, I think, rather than having it massive, then it just sort of looks like a small rock or something. Um, but yeah, there we go, more like this. Um, if you turn on bloom real quick, you can kind of see how that's looking. Actually, it will just go into rendered mode. So now it just looks like a lava planet. It looks really weird, but super cool. Um, it's one of my favorite shaders. Turn the bloom back off. Um, but yeah, that's basically this shader here. Having fun with it. Um, with this, you can add, you can go really, really crazy. You can add a uh, mix shader to this bottom shader that doesn't have one, and you can add a color ramp and play with it, and you can get so many little details into one shader, and uh, you can make a really complex shader and have fun with it. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of this series. 
of this um, textures. And yeah, there we go. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned some stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching.